Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching books I'm not reading. I am bundled up because baby, it is cold outside. So just a little weather report um, for those of you who might be interested. The current temperature here is um, seven degrees below zero in Fahrenheit, which I believe in Celsius is uh, negative 22. The, with the windshield factored in, it's uh, negative 22 degrees below Fahrenheit and uh, negative 30 degrees uh, below in, in Celsius. And tonight in Fahrenheit, uh, the it's supposed to get between negative 27 and negative 37. <laughs> so it's really cold. There's warnings about like how long you can be outside before you start to get frostbite. I will tell you every single day this week, I wore a turtleneck, a sweater, I had a fleece jacket, and then this giant scarf. So um, yeah, it, it's, been, it's been a cold week. It's gonna be a cold weekend. Now, I know this is a Friday Reads video, but I, I have kind of a little mail haul. <laughs> it's a very small one, but I really, there's some super cool stuff that I just want to share with you guys. So, first of all, I got a Valentine, well, Jason and I got a Valentine from my mom. Um, well, it's from my parents, but my mom made it. Like, look at this. It's so beautiful. So, it says bonjour, and then happy Valentine's Day, and on one side, there's a box of chocolates, and on the other side is, of course, the Eiffel Tower. So that was really exciting. I think um, her cards are such treasures, so I, I try to save them every year. The next thing I want to show you is, um, so one of you wonderful, wonderful people out there got Jason and I a gift this year of a subscription to the New York Review of Books. Um, my goodness. So I had a very, we had a very meta sort of moment this week when uh, Steve showed this issue in his mega stuff video and was talking about the letter section. And uh, yeah, I was able to, I was able to look at that. So um, anyway, this is really exciting. And uh, my God, the articles are just, they're so long. So, um, but there's a lot of really great stuff in here. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to um, enjoying this all year. One thing, uh, I don't know, maybe Steve did get this and just didn't show it, but um, apparently because we're new uh, to the New York Review of Books, they sent us a calendar. Um, this is the David Lean calendar. It's called Storms, Whirl Whirlwinds, and Earthquakes. And it is all um, black Americans. So there's Frederick Douglass. And just in honor of Black History Month, I really wanna read this quote um, that's on the cover. For it is not light that is needed, but fire. It is not the gentle shower, but thunder. We need the storm, the whirlwind, and the earthquake. The feeling of the nation must be quickened. The conscience of the nation must be roused. The propriety of the nation must be startled. The hypocrisy of the nation must be exposed. And its crimes against God and man must be denounced. Amen. Um, and that's Frederick Douglass, July 4th, 1852. Um, the first month, so we didn't get this till February. So um, I may just keep this one. This is Martin Luther King Jr., excuse me. Um, so I... It's just, uh, yeah, it's really spectacular. Uh, February is Richard Wright. And I won't show you the whole year, but I, there were, I mean, these people are going to be very familiar. And there's Toni Morrison, right? Isn't that amazing? So I was super excited because I like to have, like, calendars all over the place at work and so I'm going to take this uh, I'm going to take this one to work but um, there's all of them um, 
I'm trying to see, uh, there's uh, Zora Neale Hurston on there. So anyway, so this was quite, quite a coup. I was very, very excited about that. So again, thank you to the wonderful person who um, uh, got Jason and I that subscription and uh, we're, we're really excited about it. And I was really, really excited about the calendar. Um, the other thing, and I've had this for a while, but I haven't shown it on my channel, is um, so uh, I had you guys help me pick out books um, that I was gonna buy this year, and but I had already kind of decided that I wanted to get this one, Barchester Towers by Anthony Trollope. And we had to buy this on eBay. I couldn't get, you know, I have a copy of The Warden, but I couldn't get a copy to match, so it was kind of a bummer. Um, I couldn't I couldn't get it in the same edition, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, anyway, but nonetheless, I have it now, and I am really, really excited to read this um, this year, because I have heard so many of you sing its praises, so that's really, really exciting. Now, as to what I have been reading, <laughs> again, we're going to start off, start off where we did last week, so uh, I am, I'm not actively reading this book at the moment, but I did finish the first book of the four book series in Parade's End, which is called Some Do Not. I am doing this as a buddy read with Allie from Fox Folios. Um, and I finished Some Do Not, um, just absolutely amazing. I just, anyway, but it was also kind of the ending where I felt okay about like setting it down so like things can kind of sift through my mind a little bit better. But uh, yeah, it's, I mean, I'm so excited about reading the other ones. I believe Allie is game for that, so we're just kind of uh, waiting to see some of her scheduling issues because it's Chinese New Year, if you didn't know, and so it's a busy time of year for her. And uh, anyway, so, but I'm just really, like this, this could be like one of the best books of, that I read this year, so I'm, I'm so excited. Um, but I did decide I should start something else, and uh, so I, I'm about, this is sad, I'm only about 30 pages into The God of Animals by Aaron Kyle. So this is a book I've had since 2007. Uh, so far, it's uh, telling the story of a young girl on a, oh, so it's not a ranch, but it's like a, a, a horse, um, Oh, like a place where people learn how to show horses uh, and that kind of thing in a in a small small town in Colorado. So apparently, apparently I met this author. It's signed. This is a signed copy. Uh, Jason and I had a conversation about the author and another uh, Montana um, author. Uh, but this was in, when I got it signed, it was 2007, and that was the summer I was diagnosed with epilepsy, so September of 2007 might have been a bit foggy, because I, I mean, I remember, you know, I always, I remember that we've owned this book for that long, but I, I couldn't tell you a single thing about the signing, the room the signing was in, anything like that. So, oh well. Anyway, but I'm I'm hoping to spend some time reading this this weekend because it's so cold, right? Like that should be like time reading. <laughs> um. Anyway, I have a few other chores, and I of course want to make some more videos this weekend. Um, my office is closed on Monday, but. Being the genius that I am, I signed up for a training on Monday. So, a virtual training. So I do have to go to that, but um, hopefully there'll be a little extra time and I can really get um, much farther in. Like I said, I think I'm only, I'm only, yeah, 30 pages in. So, 
So that's what I am reading at the moment. I would love to hear what you're reading. Is it freezing cold or is it beautiful sunshine where you're at? Um, and yeah, like what's, what's going on in your world? Anything positive, uh, anything exciting happening? Let me know down in the comment section. Booktube, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will be back very soon. Take care. Bye.